I'm gonna demo um, two different primers that are different to me, that are newer to me, um, and my hope is that at the end of this video, there's a very clear winner. <laughs> One of them is the Stretch Marks Cocoa Butter Formula Palmer's Massage Cream. I don't know. I've heard things. I've seen videos. The other one is I'll insert a picture. But my sister gave me a sample of it. So it looks like this. Both are very emollient. So I'm going to try both on. I'm actually going to be using the face and body foundation for this because face and body to me is the one that is less forgiving. It gets oily quicker. I'll be able to see like what which one performs better. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, let me just shake these and let this go. On this side of my face, I'm going to be using the bigger one. This is the Stretch Mark Cream. This literally feels like a very heavy moisturizer. Like very heavy moisturizer. So I'm going to do it on this half of my face. And it smells really, I mean it smells like cocoa butter. Like if you have any concept of what cocoa butter smells like, that's strong. Which I don't like the scent. Alright, so that just feels like a very thick moisturizer. It doesn't feel anything different. And now on this side, on this side I'm going to be using the Lush product. So this is like, it looks like a very thick like emollient paste. Um, but when you get it on your fingers, it gets a little oily. I don't know if you can tell. So my sister said that the girl said to just let it get oily and then spread it around. I don't know if that makes sense. Can you see how it looks shiny? So the areas that I get mostly oily, my forehead, my nose area right here, right here especially, and then a little bit on my cheeks, but this feels nice. This feels very dry too, like to the touch. This is sticky. And there's nothing unique about the way the foundation is laying on this side. It just looks even. Might have to do with the sponge. Hmm, I can't really tell. Actually, in the cheek area, you might be able to see. It seems a little bit shinier on this side, which is the cocoa butter side. For my concealer, I'm just going to use my L'Oreal one. This one's pretty standard. Nothing about it is long-lasting or anything like that, which I want to test because sometimes my concealers are the things that usually make my foundations look better. Mm, the cocoa butter one just smells so strong, which I don't love. I'm only going to set very lightly underneath my eyes with the Ben Nye powder, just underneath my eyes. Usually I would set it all here, but I want to see what the primers do, like if it really works. Ooh, like to the touch, this is definitely drier. This one's sticky, but we shall see what happens. I'm going to finish my makeup and then I'll show you guys kind of what my start face looks like. Okay, so this is the starting point of my makeup, so I'm going to be uh, pretty much just doing my regular chores today. I have some chores to do, I have groceries, I'm probably going to go to the gym, I'm not sure exactly, but I'm going to keep my face on as long as I can. So this is the side where the cocoa butter is. Um, I do notice that on my forehead, you probably can't tell, but and the mirror in my forehead, it looks a little bit shiny right here. And then the um, Lush one, you can't really, it's like pretty dry. And when I was applying my blush and my bronzer, it seemed to be easier on this side, which is the Lush side. So, who knows? I don't know. I continue to wear this makeup and I'll do a check-in throughout the day. Okay. Um... On both sides, this part right here is super oily, but 
This side's more oily, definitely. And then my forehead has kind of stayed more oily on that side. So that's the side with the sh cocoa butter stuff. But like my cheek stuff has stayed on. Yeah, right here looks really oily. So I'm gonna just powder a little, little bit just to kind of see how it, I don't know, I guess to see, cause I don't wanna stay looking oily. But then again, I always kind of powder my nose afterwards and I didn't do it this time, so. To be fair, it's not what I usually do. I'm just gonna powder a teeny bit. I'm just using the banana powder again. I changed my look too, obviously. But I think that the Lush side is a little bit better, I think. I'll check back in later on. So I went to the gym. I sweated a lot. Sweat a lot. I don't see a difference. Okay. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try it tomorrow. And I'm going to be using a regular foundation, not face and body. 